All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. Coming at you today with a little holiday cheer. I actually was tagged by a fellow YouTuber and my wife, Sincerely Kimmy. And um, this tag is the 12 days of Christmas tag. All right, so my first question in my tag here is what is my favorite Christmas memory? All right, my favorite Christmas memory is probably being young and uh, we used to have this kind of tradition where we would go and actually um, get our Christmas tree. So we would go down to uh, Bedford, Virginia and uh, we would go, there was a man that had some private property, had a lot of evergreen trees on it and we had a tradition, he actually had a, um, had a chestnut tree in his yard and um, we actually would go and, and get some of those as well and um, on our way to get the tree. And a lot of times it would be snowing and I'm talking about we're walking and we're actually, you know, with our saws and hand saws, power saws came along a little bit later, but we would actually go and cut the tree down and, um, you know, take it back and drive it back to my hometown. So that's one of my favorite Christmas memories. All right, question number two in the 12 days of Christmas tag. What's my favorite holiday food or dessert? Hmm, that's a good question. I would have to say though, my wife's apple pie. My wife uh, makes a mean apple pie. I think my mom gave her some pointers on it, but she's made it her own. You know, she puts the Granny Smith apples in it. It's kind of sour, it's sweet. Uh, put some whipped cream on that. You know, if I'm feeling really special, have a scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. And that's it, so take me away. All right, favorite place to spend the holidays. I would say my favorite place to spend the holidays is home. I just like waking up, you know, being able to, you know, lounge around in my pajamas and just relax. So I would say my favorite place to spend the holidays is home. Question number four, what's the favorite gift that I've ever given? I would say my favorite gift that I've ever given was, you know, back in the days when I was a ball player for football, once upon a time, I upsized or upgraded my wife, you know, like Beyonce, let me upgrade you. I upgraded her ring to um, a much nicer ring than, um, you know, what we had started with when I proposed to her. Um, so that was a favorite gift that I've ever given for Christmas. I think she really enjoyed that one. Baby, hit me down in the comment box if you did. Question number five, when do you put up your Christmas tree? Um, generally a week, or maybe two weeks before Christmas. Um, this year our tree's already up, ready to go. Obviously we're about, you know, four or five days from Christmas now, but um, it's already up, ready to go. So I would say about a week, two weeks. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the week of Christmas, you know, in the past we've done that, but um, generally, We'll say about two weeks before Christmas. Question number six, to love or not to love fruitcake? I'm gonna say not to love fruitcake. It's just, just not my thing. That's just it. I don't wanna offend anybody that likes it, but it's just not my thing. Warm weather or cold weather for Christmas? This is question number seven. I would have to say cold weather for Christmas because there's just something about growing up in Virginia like I did and it was cold for Christmas. You know, here in North Carolina this year, I believe Christmas is going to be like 70 some degrees. And that's going to be a little different. You know, I'm going to be able to go to the beach or something, <laughs> you know, so it's definitely cold weather. It's just something about cold in the air that just goes with the Christmas spirit, like the holiday, just that whole eggnog, you know, mitten, snowball fights. It just kind of all goes together with me. Favorite person to spend the holidays with? I think I've already said that. Um, that would be my wife. You know, um, you know, she's my best friend and, um, you know, definitely have a great time with her. And I know one day, you know, our, our teenage kids, they're going to go off into the world. And they're going to make a life of their own. And, um, you know, they're a junior and senior in high school right now. So it won't be long before the nest is empty and there'll be me and my boo right there. So my favorite person to spend the holidays with is my wife. And of course, you know, the kids are right behind me. All right. Favorite Christmas movie. Hmm. I would have to say, I'm, I'm hard pressed right now, there's none that's like really jumping in my head, but I would have to say Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, because Rudolph was not popular, <laughs> you know, I wasn't popular either uh, in high school, and that's, that's neither here nor there, but um, I do like the fact that, you know, he gained confidence in, you know, who he was as a person. Question number 10, favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song, without a doubt, is Silent Night by The Temptations. Love that song, takes me back to my childhood, growing up in the 70s, 
80s, 90s. Um, just a song that's always been special to me. So that's my song, Merry Christmas from The Temptations. Question 11, do you wear Christmas sweaters? I don't typically, um, but I do actually have one this year that um, I will wear, <laughs> you know, if uh, the opportunity comes. And it, like I said, it's supposed to be 70 degrees around here, so I don't think the opportunity is necessarily gonna come. So that might be pushed out, you know, for next Christmas or something, but I don't typically wear Christmas sweaters, but I will. Question 12, real Christmas tree or fake? Nothing like the real thing, baby. So I'm gonna say a real Christmas tree because there's nothing like it. You have the scent. Um, it, it's just, you know, it's just something special about going and picking it, you know, from that lot. And like I said, one of my favorite Christmas memories is going and cutting the tree when I was little. So um, definitely the real tree. We tried the fake tree for a bit and um, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. So that's the 12 days of Christmas tag originally put up by Sincerely Kimmy. So thank you, Sincerely Kimmy, for tagging me in this. I wish you and yours a Merry Christmas, and I think I'll be a part of it, ironically. And let's have the best Merry Christmas we've ever had. All right, so this is Chris signing off. As always, be kind to the fish.